Hey everyone, Alvin here from Little Athletics New South Wales with another run, jump and throw yourself into an activity session. Today we're going to finish off with our last session of discus where we're actually going to start slinging the discus. Come on, let's go. So now it's gonna be our turn to sling the discus. Do you remember the ones we made from our last session? Here's mine here. I've also made a small one since then. And what we're gonna do is sling them into the targets behind What me. I've done is I've actually wound up the clothesline so it's a little bit higher because today we're gonna to be doing some standing throws. So what I've also done, I've looked around and I've found some other things that I'm going to try to sling today. We're gonna to do what I call discus sandwich into an aeroplane wings. Let me show you. Here's my throwing hand. My throwing hand goes on top of my discus. And remember how we hold it. That's it in our hands. Remember our shy kids? If you've forgotten, you might have to look at the last video. I make a sandwich. And all I'm going to do from here is go back straight back to my aeroplane wings. Back to a sandwich. Aeroplane wings, sandwich. Aeroplane wings, sandwich. That is difficult, so you may have to practice that one. Make sure when you do your swing that your arms really extend and they look like helicopter blades or aeroplane wings. All you need to do from that position is let the discus roll out of your hand. Now, this is where the rolling part comes in because when the discus leaves your hand, you need to try to make sure that the discus comes off your pointer. Just like when we were rolling, the same thing happens when you throw the discus or sling the discus. It comes out of your hand and the last finger to be touching it is your pointer so it goes forward. We're going to use that discus sandwich, aeroplane wings or helicopter technique to try to sling this discus into our target. And for this one, you can try and sling it pretty hard. Let's have a quick go at it. Well, that wasn't easy, especially trying to make it roll off that pointer. But keep practicing and you will get it. Now for a little bit of fun. Those other bits of equipment which I found lying around, we're going to sling them into our target, trying to start in that discus sandwich position, into our helicopter blades, aeroplane wings, and then slinging it into the target. Here's another challenge for you, is to try to sling the equipment to try to knock the tennis ball off. Let me see if we can do it. It's a lot harder than it looks. Don't forget, if you have any great ideas that you'd like to share with everyone, but don't forget you will have to ask mum or dad first, or whoever looks after you, you can send me some videos or some photos to my email below. Also, if you'd like to receive a certificate, you can also send me an email. All you'll need is your name, the name of the activity, if you want to, the school you're from, and what town you live in. All right, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed our session today. This is Alvin from Little Athletes New South Wales, hoping to see you for our next Run, Jump and Throw Yourself Into It activity session. Bye for now.